by Timothy Olobula Nairobi. Gormahia head coach Dylan Kerr says he still trusts goalkeeper Boniface Oluwok 100% despite his howler against Karyabangi Sharks at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos on Sunday. Sharks were in line for a valuable point and probably all three after Oluok let a simple harmless free kick from Bolton Omwenga spill between his legs to tie the game 1-1 to at the break. But, a mistake of their own saw them lose 2-1, to Ivorian Ephraim Geekin wiping the blushes off his keeper's face with a second-half winner. And Kerr, who walked straight to the pitch at the half-time whistle seething with anger after the expensive error, seemed to have calmed down at time with three points in the bag and backed his number one to retain his shirt for the next match. I am glad Boniface conceded that goal because he's better than that. It's a mistake which he didn't mean to commit. He will learn from that and get better. In the second half, he had a fantastic performance and made a good save to keep it 2-1, to one, the tactician said after the match. He followed that up on his official Twitter feed where he reaffirmed his faith in the shot stopper, complete with a photo captioned, My number one. The coach admitted to being frustrated with the performance of his team especially after Sharks had equalized via Olu Ox Howler, but he noted he had to rotate his team so as to build on his depth and give everyone an equal chance to perform. I don't know what's going through the players' minds. The trip from Equatorial Guinea two days to the game obviously didn't help us much. In the first half we are cruising at 1-0 then all of a sudden we want to do difficult things with the ball instead of keeping it simple, lamented the coach. He also attributed some of the questionable performances to nerves with most of the players fielded on Sunday earning rare chances to start. Credit to the guys and I hope they see now how my standards are and how their standards should be. The coach added. Gore went second in the Kenyan Premier League standings after the nervy 2-1 win, sitting on nine points, one short of leaders Mathari United who have played a match more. The record 16-time league champions will have an opportunity to return to the summit on Wednesday when they play their match in hand against former champions Tusker FC at the Kenyatta Stadium in Machakos.